Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be working on the Subaru again because we got some parts from ADF. Now I've been waiting for these for a while now so that I can install the uh, OEM trailing arms on the Subaru because the trailing arms that are on it now are some aftermarket uh, cheap brand. I don't know where the previous owner got them from but they are horrible and they do not work the way we want them to. So these are the ones that came with the car and I'll try and remove them and get you a better look but um, you can tell more on the driver's side that the spherical bearing is just completely worn out so it actually makes a weird noise. And so that clicking, uh, especially on uh, high speeds or while you're off-roading, it's annoying as hell. So we're going to be removing these and we're going to be installing the OEM ones that we got online. So what happens is usually when you lift your Subaru, your tire gets pushed forward. And so that's why the previous owner put those adjustable ones on. But, like I said, they're not made for off-roading. And if they are, they are probably made to be rebuilt every once in a while. And I'm not down for that. I'd rather just have something where you can set it, you can forget it, not have to worry about it anymore. So, to install the stock ones and still have the clearance here, we got these parts from ADF, which space out your, uh, they space out your arm like that, and it allows you to, um, get more clearance away from this part of the car. Pushes it back a little bit more because we have more room here, and if anything, we can always cut it, which is the plan anyway, but... The more we can keep it away from here, the better it is for the tire and the better it's going to be for your handling. You don't want anything obstructing what you're doing when you're going 70, 80 miles an hour down the uh, freeway, you know? So let's take them off and put the new ones back on. Uh, I'm not sure if you can tell on the video, but it shouldn't have this much play in it And it sure shit shouldn't squeak like that And so I'm assuming that these things were made for uh, road racing or on road racing uh, Not off-road because I took it off-roading two, three times and now they're destroyed. And to get it rebuilt, uh, I'm without, which I'm sure I can, it's just, it's too expensive to keep rebuilding these things since I'm not like sponsored or, you know, balling that hard. So I'd rather just put the stock ones on and not have to worry about this. So this is the part that we're replacing with the stock ones because of this. So if we take these little spacers out, we'll actually be able to look on the inside. And you can see that it's supposed to have some type of a dust boot, but that didn't work for anything. Um, you can tell that it's, uh, it has a gnarly groove and it's just worn to crap. So I wish I would have gotten that on video before I started taking everything apart, but um, I was getting a nasty wheel wobble uh, at a highway speed and it sounded and felt gnarly so 
Um, when I noticed that it was these aftermarket spherical bushings, I decided to um, replace them with OEM ones. And so instead of having that bushing at the end, it has the uh, rubber one, which I'm going to be swapping out for urethane later on. But for now, this should um, work a lot better than that one did. No more road noise, no more squeaking, no more wheel movement at highway speeds. Uh, hopefully, at least that's the plan, right? But yeah, let's get these bad boys on because we're running out of daylight. So here we have the uh, ADF spacer. And it's actually going to go in between this bracket and the body. I'll show you when it's on, that way you have an idea of how it's going to be. Because honestly, when I first got these, or when I first heard of them, I was like, where in the hell does this thing go? But, yeah, it goes right there. You get new hardware, so it fits the um, the big spacer and your uh, stock bracket. And then you just put everything back on, like uh, OEM. I'm not going to show you the other side because it's pretty much the same thing. And, uh, like I said, I'm running out of daylight, so i got to get this done. So you're pretty much going to sandwich the ADF spacers between the bracket, like I said, and the body, just like this. Make sure you torque them down to spec. Your arm is attached to that, and it comes over here, and it attaches to your rear spindle. And that's pretty much it. That's how you install the ADF spacers. And so once you lower the car, it should give you the... Uh, extra spacing that you need from your tire and your chassis.